one of my subscriber named subtitle Dutch. I don't know if I got that right. And he commented in one of my last videos. He said, thank you. Keep on. Could you please show us how to make a melting image in after effect? Yes. And I decided to do this video to answer that question. Keep leaving your comment and I will do my best to make sure I get back to you as quick as I can. There are so many ways you can melt objects or images in Adobe After Effects, ranging from simple to advanced and easy to complex. But I'm going to show you one way you can get started with melting just about anything in Adobe After Effects. Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials. And today I'm going to show you how you can melt just about anything in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm going to start with a simple composition. Feel free to use your own settings, of course. Then I'm going to navigate to where I have my images and then import the images I want to melt. This could be a logo, text, or whatever it is that you want to melt. Drag and drop it into your project manager window. I'm going to pre-compose these images so that I can go back and reuse whatever settings I have right here. I'll drag and drop it into this composition icon right below the project manager window. I'll also do that for the second one. Then I'll drag the two compositions that I just created and put them into the main composition. This is going to give me this. I'll of course scale down scale down to whatever size you find okay i'm gonna leave it at this so i'm just gonna simply arrange them the way i want i'm gonna select the top uh, composition and add a drop shadow this is not compulsory but i just find out that it can add some certain depth to this select both layers Hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. Move your time indicator to about to one second forward in time and set a keyframe for the position and also set a keyframe for the rotation. So I'm going to move to about four seconds forward in time and move the, I'll change the rotation this way of this one like this and I'll change the rotation for the second one the other direction. I will select both layers and move the position downward and that will give you this. Beautiful. So we're going to move the time indicator back to zero and pull out like this. Then select the rectangle tool and make sure no layer is selected. We're going to draw a very large shape like this right below here set the stroke to none and then set a fill color any color will do with the layer still selected search for turbulent displays we're gonna increase the amount you can fit this back to preview window so that you can see what you got. Then we're going to reduce the size. Feel free to reduce it to whatever size you like. Then I'm going to increase the complexity. Just increase the complexity until you have something like this. I will reduce the amount a bit. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is to go to evolution, hold down the alt key or option key on the Mac, then you click on the evolution and enter time as there is 300. That will give you this. If you like, you can increase the, the speed, but I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to reduce the size further. I need it to be a bit smaller. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select the both photo layers and pre-compose it. Set the track mask to alpha inverted. 
select the pre-composed images and then this mask element and pre-compose it one more time add a cc smear effect on the effect and preset window select the from and set where you want the melting drops to start from then i'll select the two and put it right below the from point right here so what i'm gonna do now is to move my time indicator to the point where it starts moving like this so i'm gonna set a keyframe for the radius and the reach and make the reach zero then i'm gonna move forward in time to somewhere here and just increase the reach to whatever i like until it cuts off like this so i'm still gonna move forward in time then hit you on my keyboard to reveal the keyframe i will copy the first keyframe ctrl c and then paste it at the point where i have my time indicator so i'm gonna simply move this right here just about this point i'm gonna set the uh, radius to zero now if you preview this is what we have beautiful you can stretch it out to to make it more organic duplicate this cc smear effect once i duplicate it then i'm gonna set the from and to again to somewhere around here some of, the, some of the time the best way to do is to move your time indicator so that you can see where it's dripping then you set the two to the new place right below this so i will change the i'll hit you on my keyboard to reveal the new keyframes for this so i'm gonna offset this so that it will happen at a different time beautiful so the next thing i'm gonna do now is to keep duplicating this some couple of more times and positioning it randomly and changing the size and the reach particularly the size i'm gonna be changing the size a lot and then position it right below this until my image completely disappeared after doing that some couple of more times this is what i have I duplicated this about 11 times and repositioned it across the edge of the image. Like I told you, this will depend on your concept. This is like something is melting it right below here. You can create that and add that if you want to, but this is how you can melt an image or anything in Adobe After Effects. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.